Hi, welcome back to the Happiness Hangout. Thanks, Colleen, for joining us today. Hi, thanks for having me again. Uh, my pleasure. So today, what we're going to talk about is separation anxiety. And this is something that I can really relate to because I'm around my dogs all the time now. This is such an important topic because we want to make sure our dogs feel safe and happy and calm when left alone. So here are some things we can do to help make that happen. First, create a VIP lounge. And in this case, VIP stands for very important pooch. So wherever you leave your dog when you're gone, if it's in a crate, an exercise pen, maybe gated into the kitchen, you wanna make that area the best place on the planet. Feed them there, give them special treats in there. Even sometimes when I get a new toy, I put it in the VIP area and then allow the dog to discover it. So you think, man, this place is amazing. And with that, when you leave, they think, well, it's, I'm sad my dad's gone, but I'm in my VIP lounge and that helps to make it all better. Tip number two, break the pattern. And what I mean by that is dogs, they watch us, they know us well. And so oftentimes they pick up on our exiting patterns long time before we actually leave the house. So your dog is sitting there and they think, oh no, mom put on mascara. Oh, dad picked up his wallet. Oh no, they grabbed the keys. And so your dog is already panicking before you have even left the house. So instead break up that pattern. Maybe get dressed like you're gonna be leaving and then sit down and watch a movie. Pick up your car keys, put on your sunglasses, make a cup of coffee. And by breaking up the routine, we make sure that when you do actually leave, your pup is still calm. And that leads us into tip number three, stay calm. Keep your exits and entrances very low key. What a lot of us try to do is explain to our pup why we're leaving and that everything is gonna be okay, right? I'm so sorry I have to leave you, but I just have to go out, but you're gonna be fine. I promise I'll be back. You're just gonna be fine. You must, dog, yeah, you must have a camera in my house or something. How do you know <laughs> that's, that's you every that, time? Yeah, because we're trying to, we feel bad leaving, so we're trying to tell them it's okay. Sure. Our, our dog has no idea. They're just like, man, dad is stressed right now. And if dad is stressed and then he leaves, then something must be wrong. So my rule is say hello and goodbye to your dog like you do to a loved one when you're just running to the store. Bye, hon, going to the store. I'm back. Keep it like that, because if you stay low key and centered and balanced, your dog will too as you come and go. So tip number four is in and out, in and out, in and out. The reason that dogs have separation anxiety is they think that when we leave, we are never coming back again. That's it, that's the last time they're ever gonna see their pet parent, and that's why they're so distraught and upset. But if we come and go and come and go, they learn that's not the case. So grab your keys, put on your shoes, walk out the door, lock it, then immediately turn around and walk back in. Then repeat, wait a couple minutes, walk out again, lock your door, maybe wait a little bit longer, then come back in. And as your dog gets more and more comfortable with you being gone, you can lengthen that time. What can help them even more is take a super high value yummy treat and just toss it to them as you walk out the door. This will help make your exit a little less hard on them. And tip number five, especially for separation anxiety, if your dog has a severe case of separation anxiety or they're not getting better, get help. Dogs can cause a lot of destruction to a house when they have separation anxiety and they can hurt themselves. And it's also just not a great way to feel. So reach out to professional and get some professional tips and advice and guidance in order to help your pup feel better when you do leave. Wow, these tips are really helpful. Thank you so much for calling. Of course, I'm happy to help. Here are my top five tips for helping with separation anxiety. 